pandemic has been spread out across the entire world as people are turning oh, to ducks, not in facial features, but in language and in sound and in everything else. They're beginning to act like ducks, trying to fly like ducks, and oh my goodness, someone just tried to jump from a cliff. Beware, this is not a zombie apocalypse, this is a duck apocalypse. Please get in your houses, stay inside, do not leave, do not do anything that might put you in arms danger, protect your families, get guns, shoot anyone who comes near, unless it's me or Dawson here. And as, as you see, Dawson's turning, so I might have to end this poor, this poor soul's lies. life, so just, just, just stay in safety, just stay in safety. The state of Texas is banning jalapenos, and for, for and for, for this we have a very special guest with us, Dawson Bodenhammer, uh, a specialist in jalapenos in Texas. So exactly, Dawson, I'm a specialist in jalapenos. So, what can you tell us? Why is the state of Texas banning jalapenos? Well, jalapenos are they are, they are very hot, as you know, and, and many people do not like unlike us, uh, Hispanics. We love hot things, but. Many people do not like hot peppers. They just don't like it. They they, they think that they think that it causes them. But anyways, they they're they're saying that the peppers are getting nosy. What they have done is they have outlawed the jalapenos because you, I mean who wants anyone getting jalapeno business? You know, I, I do I don't really want that either. All right, you ready for some Spanish? Yes. This is what the waitress says to you at any Mexican restaurant. They will walk up and they, say, they will say, and If you do not understand what they just said, then you can just get a burrito and be ready, be done with it. Just get the burrito. Very Be satisfied. You need to be satisfied with the burrito if you don't understand the waiter because the waitress or the waiter, whatever, most of the time it's a waitress at those restaurants. Very interesting. Well, this has been Cars News with Joseph Bradley. Very interesting. This you have just heard from Dawson Bradley. A joke. <laughs> Are you feeling slightly overweight? Are you finding yourself diving under the bed looking for dust bunnies? Are you finding hair on top of the ceiling fan? Well then you <laughs> might need nacho Dorito nacho <coughs> Dorito Included Uh, boom, son Belcher Center Belcher Center Belcher Center Belcher Center That face Welcome back to Cars News We were talking about very, very difficult and interesting subject today With, um the discussions and interests of people about talking about losing their hair. We're here with a um, specialist, Dawson Bonehammer, who's a very intellectual person in the world. Dawson, what can you tell us about why people fearing about losing their hair and what necessary precautions they should take? This is the key to not losing your hair. Jalapeno Cheetos. You see this right here? Jalapeno cheese puffs. There they are. That is the key to not losing hair. If you want to keep your hair till you're 57, you can eat those. You'll lose it at 58, but you, you can keep it at 57. That's no, that's good enough. Do you have any advice for the people who are over the age of 60 losing hair, or is, well, is there any um, anything it, if, you can say? I, I, to I would I would be a pessimist. Degree? I would, I would consider being a pessimist about this particular thing here, you know, saying it wouldn't work and all that, but I don't think that would help anything. I, I really don't think that would do any good. I suggest wearing a hat or um, maybe put some lotion on it so it won't reflect so easily. Um, because I, I did catch one man, he, he, another lady was standing up on a bench looking at his head and checking a makeup on it. So I'd suggest you stay away from uh, just having it out in the open. Well, this has been Dawson Bonehammer, and with another great, interesting topic about losing their hair and people um, with no hair, and um, our grievances go out to those unfortunate people who have no hair and all that. No, no, no! Give back my toupee! Give back my toupee! I'm, I think I got my toupee back. Oh, goody! It's I mean, all nice. I mean, how's mine? He grabbed mine too. Oh, good, good. It's good. Oh, the camera's rolling. Well, Ben, welcome to Cars News. We're talking about drum roll, please. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you! We are going to be talking about girls using duck faces in photos. Now, Dustin, really? what, what do you think about the subject and, and how do you think the populace would feel if there was suddenly a change and like men started doing the duck face and not women? If you don't have a beak, you can't really do duck face, so... Duck face! Uh, no. We're gonna duck face! No, I'm going to take the back. Oh.
another very interesting topic about adopting highways. Oh, adopting very highways. Very, you always see these signs. Adopting highway two miles. Adop, adopting highway next two miles. Right. If you always begin to notice that it always says two miles, why never three or five? What do you have to say about this, well, Dawson? Because you don't. You, you want to wait five miles instead of two. If you only waited two, you'd have to, you know, buy all the the crib and the uh, wait. Well, hello and good evening and welcome to Cars News. This is Joseph Bradley on another very interesting okay. uh, topic about different things. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't one of them. Hello, this is Dawson Bonham here with Cars News. I have it. I'm going to tell you something today. I do believe I... Mm. Alright, back to what we were talking about. I have something for sale. It's called a Jonathan. Now, these only come in a special type and quality. You can only buy them at Walmart. Only Walmart sells them. I don't know why, but see, you see, the, it's the type of Jonathan it is. I don't know what about it, but only Walmart would do that type of thing. Definitely. Only Walmart. They're the only ones that would do that. Now, you could go to, uh, say, um, yeah, what, what is another, what is another, give me a store, give me a store name. Goodwill. Goodwill. You can go to Goodwill. Now, at Goodwill, you might find a Joshua. See, this is a Joshua. That's what a Joshua looks like. They only sell these at Goodwill. So there's your first glimpse at a Joshua. You go along to Goodwill today and get your own Joshua. But I don't think you would find a Jonathan. They, they, they mostly come at Walmart. Now, if someone returned their Jonathan, and so did a Goodwill, they might call it a Joshua. But I, I don't think that they would sell Jonathans at Goodwill. No, but mostly at Walmart. Here, it even talks. Look at this. Look, it talks. Hey there. Say, it can say hey there. Now, that's pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it can say no, whoa. No, no, no. Oh, it must have a whole... It must have a, a speech. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. Right, so it, maybe you can carry on a conversation. I don't know much about about this toy yet, but we'll find out more later. Anyways, it's only $99.95. Actually, $99.99. They raised the price. What? It's up. It's up. Four thirty-nine ninety-nine. Look at that! He can tell you its own price. Now that is amazing. Four thirty-nine ninety-five. Four thirty-nine ninety-five. Buy it today online. <laughs> today. Yeah. Welcome to Cars News. There's a worldwide pandemic out there with the TVs suddenly having Frito just bags strolling across the TVs. And no one knows why. We will be talking about that later on. Right. Tune in to find out. Um, welcome to Cars News. This is Joseph Bradley talking with Dawson Bonhammer, most intellectual man in the entire world, going to almost every subject with complete accuracy. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. <laughs> not Fritos. Was that good enough? You want another drum roll? Uh, not Fritos walking by the screen. That's not what you're seeing. No. Fritos don't walk. That, that is can't the, be possible. That is the green screen. Fritos or, don't just grow legs and walk away. Although I did have one bag of Fritos that grew legs and walked are, away on me. And I, I, I regret actually having met that bag of Fritos. Actually, we have found His name out. was Bob.